guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to add a diversity module bay to the Ishin EV100 without having the need to disassemble the goggles. I'm also going to do it in conjunction with adding the Ishin Pro DVR. In order to do this mode you're going to need the Ishin Pro DVR, a 3.5mm video jack, a step down model and you're gonna also have to make sure that the output is 5 volts. You need to do it by rotating the dial over here and using a multimeter in order to make sure that the output is 5 volts. Two servo connectors or one connector of this type that has 6 pins and a 2S balance connector because we're going to power off this model from the battery of the Ishin EV100. The model I'm going to add in this video is the Relay CC. RX 5808 plus version, this is the newest version and I'm also going to do it in order to compare this one with its predecessor. So this is the same module I used with the DVR mode. So what I need to do first is to change the position of the video in. Now it's going to move to the video out over here. And now we need to move the connector to the video out. So now the ground and the video out are connected. On the module I need to connect only the 5 volts, the ground and the video out which is the 6th pin. So I'm only going to leave this wire, the green wire and the yellow wire. The yellow wire is the video when we're going to connect it next to the ground and the 5 volts that powers the Pro DVR. And now I'm going to solder the 5 volts and the ground to the 5 volts on the ground over here. So I finished connecting it, let's see if everything is working. And you can see the DVR is working and also the RX5808 receiver is working. However, we do have a problem that right now the video out is going through the DVR. And if you're not recording any video, there's not going to be any problem. But once you record the video, there is going to be a delay. So what I decided to do, I'm going to move the video out instead from the video out of the DVR. I'm going to connect it to the AV in and to the ground and then the video feed is going to be directly fed from the receiver instead of the DVR and it's going to eliminate the delay that's going to be caused while recording. So now the video in of the goggles is connected to the video out of the receiver and I've tested it, it's working and now we don't have the delay while recording the video to the DVR. All I need to do is just to mount it on the goggles in this manner and I'm going to mount the DVR on the bottom like that and we're gonna be pretty much good to go. Okay, so I finished connecting everything up. The VR is connected here on the bottom. And over here we have the module. Of course, we can replace it and you can use whichever module that we want. Next, I'm going to take it outside and compare this with the older Alex 5808 model. So let's connect everything up. First, we need to power up the goggles. Then press this button to enter AV in. And now we need to power the module and the DVR. You can see that both are working. Let's connect the camera. So the camera is on F7. Now it's on F7 and it's hard to see, but we're getting a picture inside the goggles, which means that this is working. One of the things, of course, that you should take into consideration that because they're going to use the battery of the EV100 for the DVR model and for the diversity receiver, the battery is going to run out quicker. So pay attention. Maybe it's a good idea also to buy another spare battery because it's not going to last for an hour. Probably it's going to last for half an hour or 40 minutes or so. So I thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this mod, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. See you on my next videos and goodbye.
Watch the scenes we live on, oh. 